Hello and welcome to i3 Robotics. I'm here with another Tinkercad circuit that is measuring distance using ultrasonic sensor and Arduino. As you can see, I'm already here inside the Tinkercad and by default, I have got a title. I will rename it and I will make measuring distance uh, using uh, ultrasonic sensor. So this is about uh, measuring distance, that's fine. Next, uh, our title is done. This will appear within second on the top, measuring distance using ultrasonic sensor. And of course, we will be using Arduino. So let's drag the components first. You can see I have selected component that is basic. Uh, and very easily I can find ultrasonic, uh, sorry, Arduino, you know, on the right drag them in the circuit area and here I got Arduino. Next is to drag ultrasonic sensor. As soon I will drag this component, I will show you how you can connect and uh, how you can program it. So there are two ultrasonic sensors uh, that is uh, mentioned in the Tinkercad, one which is having three pins and one more uh, ultrasonic sensor I would show you, I can got in, I can get in all so when you select all components, you will get it. So let me drag the another one. So here I have the name of one is ping and another HCSR04. So the HCSR04, the second one, it has four pins, uh, power pin, trigger pin, echo pin and ground pin. And the left side, we have only three pins, ground, uh, power and signal pin. Both uh, are very easy to use with the Tinkercad. I'll be using this one because in India it's easily available at CSR04 and I'll be using this. But working with Ping also uh, in the Tinkercad is fairly simple. So let me show you how you can use this at CSR04 and how you can measure the distance with it. Uh, very first, you can see it has four pins of VCC, trigger, and echo and ground. So let's collect them. VCC is always for providing a power uh, to the uh, SCSR or this ultrasonic sensor because without it, it won't work. So giving a power is very important that will enable it to work. And so change the color to red as it shows it is positive and ground. There are many ground pin available in the Arduino. Uh, it can connect to anyone. So that's the ground pin here. Let's change the color to black. As conventionally, power is denoted or is, is uh, always shown with red and ground always uh, is always shown with, uh, you know, black. Next two pin, trigger pin and echo pin. Let me tell you, with uh, you know, very clearly that with a trigger pin, we can produce ultrasound. As well as with echo pin, you can receive ultrasound. Imagine you have a gun in your hand. And if you wanted to fire the bullet, what you're supposed to do, you need to press the trigger, right? So as soon as you press the trigger, you will be able to fire the bullet. Likewise here, the trigger pin, if you give signal to the trigger pin, uh, this ultrasonic sensor will produce ultrasound. As well as through echo pin, you can receive those reflected ultrasonic sounds. That's, I think, important, uh, interesting, and I hope you got it. So let's connect these two pins. You're free to attach with any one of the pin, but most probably you attach with uh, the pin having wave kind of signal. Or uh, I have tested with, uh, you know, most of the other pins also, it works well. So the thing is we need to, uh, you know, produce a, a, a pulse. So here we are connected to uh, pin number 11. And the echo pin, I'm going to connect with another pin, uh, another number uh, for time being. Uh, let me sh let me choose one that is 10. Remember that echo pin is connected to pin number 10 and trigger pin is connected to pin number 11. That's all. And we are all set to go. Our circuit connection is done. Next is I'm going to show you the code because without code, the circuit won't work. This is Arduino. Without code, it's don't know anything. So we are going to write code for it. And remember, 
being a programmer, we, we, you must know what the code is all about. So let's write the title, the comment block, that we are going to measure distance. Okay, so what we'll do here, I will write code for measuring distance. So this is about measuring distance. That's fine. The next is, I'll show you the steps of what to be done. So um, you can see that ultrasonic sensor is an input device or all the sensors, they are input device. This gives the input to the Arduino. And so for that, what we'll doing is, for we'll go to output section and we will drag, uh, you know, print to serial monitor this. We will drag this. This is uh, this block will help us to print the distance that is measured by ultrasonic sensor. And wherever there is written the text hello world, instead of printing the text, I will print the distance that is measured by ultrasonic sensor and Arduino. So what will I do? I will go to input and I will take read ultrasonic sensor distance pin and I will draw here. Let me increase the window size so I, it will be you know good enough for you to get it. I think uh, it's it's all okay now. Here we need to change uh, the trigger pin and echo pin. Remember, trigger pin is connected to pin number 11 and echo pin I have connected to pin number 10. That is fine. And we are going to measure the distance in centimeter and each time when it will print the new value, it will be printed in new line. So it's in the new line. And then I will say, hey, I didn't know, wait for one second or half second uh, after giving me a new uh, distance. So just for that, I uh, know, smooth reading, I'm, uh, till, uh, you know, I'm telling them to wait for a while. So that's code. This is the code done. Let me uh, turn on the serial monitor and you can read uh, the distance that will be uh, read by this Arduino and will be displayed in the serial monitor. So it's the time to show you uh, the simulator that how does it work actually. Imagine here we do have ultrasonic sensor and serial window. Uh, you can observe it. I'm going to start simulator. And now if I click on simulator is started, if I click on the sensor, I got a little ball, ball here. So this ball is about, you know, uh, a kind of obstacle. So the sound that is generated by this uh, ultrasonic sensor and being reflected by this and being read back. So if suppose this ball is out of its range, uh, Arduino is not going to give any reading. But in the serial monitor, we have 336. So if it is 336, that's maximum, means there is no obstacle in front of the ultrasonic sensor. You can call it as a kind of error. But as soon as you will get an object in front of the sensor, you will get exact reading. Just like any other object, uh, any other sensor, it has limitations like far, you know, the near field or far field. So the near field or you can call it's, uh, you know, how, what is the minimum distance that he can measure? This is three centimeter approx. Yeah, uh, yeah, three, three, uh, three centimeter. Okay, so, uh, you know, closer than three centimeter, this sensor won't be able to read. And maximum is 336. So this is how uh, you can measure the distance using ultrasonic sensor and Arduino. That's fine.